Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's June 22nd, 2022. We're in the New Testament. We are in the book of Matthew. We're getting ready to read chapter 5, verse 1 through 16 today. Uh, we just said that Matthew is a disciple of Jesus. He was the tax collector, also known as Levi. Uh, he's written his gospel mainly to the first century Jews to kind of convince them that, hey, Jesus is the Messiah that we're all waiting for and we should listen to him and follow him and we had that whole introduction where he just kind of listed a bunch of different benchmarks scriptures and, and the natural order and, and how kings are responding to say i don't know what you're looking for in the messiah but jesus satisfies that and he starts into the ministry of jesus and calling him and, and now we're going to get the part where jesus is just going to present the words of christ and say listen to what he's saying and you should you should see the messiah he he, he it was kind of a misconception among the Jews that he was going to come and wipe out the Romans and restore a kingship and everything would be fine. It's like, no, it's much deeper than that. He is here to restore the relationship with God that we should have had to begin with. We're done with all those kings. You're, you're, the kingdom is in you. All right, so let's go ahead and start with Matthew. Chapter, one, or chapter 5, verse 1 through 16. Jesus saw the crowds and went up a hill where he sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. Happy are those who know they are spiritually poor. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Happy are those who mourn. God will comfort them. Happy are those who are humble. They will receive what God has promised. Happy are those whose greatest desire is to do what God requires. God will satisfy them fully. Happy are those who are merciful to others. God will be merciful to them. Happy are the pure in heart. They will see God. Happy are those who work for peace. God will call them his children. Happy are those who are persecuted because they do what God requires. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Happy are you when people insult you and persecute you and tell you all kinds of evil lies against you because you are my followers. Be happy and glad, for a great reward is kept for you in heaven. This is how the prophets who lived before you were persecuted. You are like salt for all mankind, but if salt loses its saltiness, there is no way to make it salty again. It has become worthless, so it is thrown out and people trample on it. You are like light for the whole world. A city built on a hill cannot be hid. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a bowl. Instead, he puts it on the lampstand where it gives light for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine before people so that they will see the good things you do and praise your Father in heaven. May God bless reading the word. May God bless you. Bye.